Hi guys. So this is new for us, right? This is new. Um, I wanted to do a plan with me for the month of February. I have not done these before on my channel, but I do this all the time anyway. Like I do this every month, um, just naturally. And I actually do this every week night, typically on Sundays, like I'll go through and I will plan out my weeks and my months and my days and stuff like that. And I wanted to kind of just show my process and record one week. And I figured with tomorrow being February 1st, today is a perfect day to do this. I also have cute little Valentine's Day nails today. So I was like, may as well just do it today while my nails are good and uh, a new month is tomorrow. So I wanted to show like my process really of planning out my months when it comes to setting goals and intentions and how I use the Manifest Planner. The Manifest Planner is a planner that I created. Um, so I do have these for sale if you guys are interested um, on the manifestplanner.com. You can get a hard copy. This is a thick planner, as you guys can see. Um, it is six months. This version is undated. This is the only hardcover version available so far. I'm working on my next one right now. So the layout of it is that it starts with a monthly spread, and then you have a monthly review, um, and then that will repeat six times. Then you have a weekly intentions, a weekly review, and a weekly time block, and then that repeats 31 times. And then back here you have your daily spreads. Um, and these repeat 180 times to come out to about six months. So anyway, this is the planner that I use. It is the manifest planner. I am definitely biased, but I think it's the best. I'm obsessed with it. And I just wanted to do a February plan with me. Um, it's a cozy day. It's Tuesday, the 31st. It is snowing out right now. So it's just a gorgeous day for this. Um, and I use a combination of things and I'll walk you guys through it in this video. I use this planner. I use my phone and I use sticky notes. This is my organization system. I also did just release a in-depth chatting podcast about my systems of planning and stuff like that and how I time batch, maximize my time and all that good sorts of stuff. Um, I'm not one of those girlies that use a ton of stickers or anything. I do have these markers, which I will sometimes pull from, but I'm pretty much just a pen to paper girl. I like to keep it simple, not too complicated. Without further ado, let's just dive in and get some nice music playing and dive into planning for February 2023. I have not yet filled out my monthly review for January, but I'm going to do that tonight. And I think I'm going to do that alone. I won't document that. So we're just going to flip to a new page and begin with February. I like to keep track of my planner with paper clips. And this is so that I can flip. Let me stand up the planner so that I can flip to the month that I'm on, the week spread that I'm on, and then my daily spread that I'm on. All right, let's... Uh, begin. So this will be super fun. So I'm just first starting off by obviously writing in that it's February. And I always like to put on my favorite music while I plan. I also light a candle. I really like get into the vibe. So I actually made a playlist on Spotify and it's called the manifest planner and I'll have it linked below. Um, but this planner folds in on itself. So you guys will see that I do like Monday through Thursday first and then Friday through Sunday. So I go in with the dates and I go off of my Google calendar. And this is kind of where I'm going to refer back to my podcast episode that I was just talking about a couple of minutes ago that I made, um, this past week, actually all about really how I plan. So my Google calendar is like my rough draft. And then my pen to paper planner is my final draft. And I say final very loosely because life is busy. No, what's the saying? Life happens when we're busy making plans. So I can write something down in pen and it looks gorgeous, but it's bound to change just because that's life and life is always changing and constantly switching and things get moved around. So the only thing that I really put on my monthly spreads when it comes to planning in my physical hard copy planner 
is dates of things such as when rent is due, if there's a holiday, Valentine's Day, President's Day, if I'm traveling, things like that, like the definite dates. And then lately, because I'm um, training for a marathon, I like to put my run dates on my calendar too. And then I'll go back in and fill in um, how far I actually ran because, you know, I could like today, for example, my coach said run up to 35 minutes, but my legs were literal bricks today. So I, I hit 20 minutes. I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm good at 20. So like I would go in and write the actual time of like I ran for 20 minutes. So whatever. Um, so I like to go in and fill in definites such as payday when I have to pay rent running. Cause I like to track that traveling when I teach spin because I normally don't get subs out for spin unless like I get sick or I'm traveling in advance but all these traveling dates I can still like do spin um so I just go in and fill in what I absolutely know I will be doing it's also the Super Bowl okay on February 12th and I'm from Philly so I'm rooting for the Eagles and go birds had to write that in there what I also like to do throughout the month is go back in on each day and write down one good thing that happened each day. Now I'm moving on to my monthly goals. Um, so the way that I designed this planner was so that in the beginning of the planner, you write down a letter to your future self. And from that, you pull out six priorities and you make goals for each of those priorities. So then you start with five years, three years, one year, one month, one week, and one day of goals for each priority. So this would technically fall under the month. So I could write one goal per priority, but it really ended up being like three work and three personal. So it wasn't like perfectly to the system that I created it to be, but that's just how this month went. I'm just leaning very heavily into um, two aspects of my priorities this month. And sometimes that's just how it works. You guys will see that I also pull out the sticky note a lot of times whenever I have an immediate brain dump that I want to work into my monthly spreads, but I don't want to like mess it up quite yet. I want to have it like kind of perfected. So then I moved into the monthly dump and sorry, the brain dump. And in my brain dump, I just kind of wrote down that like, I don't know, I, I started lifting again and I'm just not like, loving it so, so much so I really want to kind of go back to doing my low impact strength trainings of bar Pilates um, yoga and like Melissa would help Pilates at home so I just was kind of writing down like a potential new split of workouts that just involve that instead of weightlifting and then I go into my goal trackers which my goals were very wellness based um, morning sunlight, reading, getting enough hours of sleep, and I just wrote down some books that I wanted to read this month. Then I went into my weekly intentions, and I'm just doing a rough draft on sticky notes to keep track of things. And like throughout the month, I'll just go into each note and write on things how it comes up. Um, but yeah, I will do like another in depth video about weeks and days and how I plan that. But this is how I plan and I hope you guys liked it. It was super short. This is me trying to wave goodbye and I hope you guys liked this video. I can definitely do more of these, um, but yeah, this is all new to me. I thought this video is going to be a lot longer, so I'm actually kind of shocked that it's so short. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys want ones on the weeknights. Like I feel like my weekly and daily planners are very different than my monthly spreads. My monthly spread is honestly probably like my least interesting because it's just one big month. But anyway, I'm just rambling on. Thank you guys for watching. I'll have a link down below if you guys want to purchase the Manifest Planner. I have it available in a hardcover and in digital form if you guys want an immediate digital download. Um, but anyway, happy February, you guys. Have an amazing new month. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.